Reviews for Cyberpunk 2077 are out now and the vast majority of them is less than flattering. Needless to say, the amount of hype CDPR created around that game resulted in extremely high expectations, especially for those who were hoping for a generation-defining release, considering it's been in development for at least 8 years. Does that mean reviews wouldn't be so negative if they hadn't announced that game prematurely? No, but at the same time, people wouldn't hold a game that hadn't even come out yet to such high standards. Standards the company set for itself, mind you. That's not to say the game isn't fun and I'm looking forward to playing it, but it's undeniable it didn't have the impact the company was hoping for. So why the hell am I talking about Cyberpunk 2077 in a Gran Turismo video? That's because Gran Turismo is the king of hype building and delays and I hope Sony learned the lesson with the disaster that the lead up to the release of Gran Turismo 5 was. From the looks of it though, apparently they didn't learn anything. Sony never really committed to a release date for Gran Turismo 7, but they did commit to a release window that already seems to be broken. Initially expected to release within the first half of 2021 as confirmed by official marketing material, Sony has now stealthily added the YouTube video with this information and replaced it with a line that simply says in development for PlayStation, which probably confirms it won't hit the target release window they initially committed to. Given how early into the life of the PlayStation 5 we are, I'm getting flashbacks of the premature announcement of Gran Turismo 5 early into the life of the PlayStation 3, and I hope they're not setting up for a reprise of what happened back then. On a more positive note, they put out another showcase video with some of the upcoming games for the PS5, and in that video, Gran Turismo 7 is now expected to be coming in 2021, which gives me hope that the delay isn't gonna be massive. Another thing that the video brought more clarity to was which platforms the game will be releasing on. Previously, the game was set to be developed for PlayStation, and the vague language used was likely telling us there was a chance the game would be coming to PlayStation 4 as well, which would definitely hold the game back. But now the new marketing material clearly shows the game is a PlayStation 5 exclusive which puts to rest any rumors that suggested otherwise, and I think that's the right move for this game. The Gran Turismo series doesn't get nearly as many new games as other PlayStation exclusives, and to have a game designed with the PlayStation 4 in mind would mean we'd be stuck with the game severely held back by hardware limitations for the next 3-4 years. With Forza Motorsport rumored to be a Series X exclusive, I don't think it would be a good idea for a game in direct competition to support a last-gen console. This new trailer also shows new angles of Trial Mountain and confirms that the Aston Martin DBR9 and the Porsche 911 RSR are gonna be in Gran Turismo 7. Two other confirmed cars as seen in the video are the Alfa Romeo 4C Group 3 and the Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG GT3. Let's hope this is the first and last time we hear of a change in plans when it comes to the release window and that the game comes out sometime over the course of the next year. As usual, if anything changes, I'll let you guys know. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.